What's up everyone, my name's Tom and welcome to TechStream today. Thanks again to the guys over at Gigabyte Boris. Uh, we're taking a look at their new M5 gaming mouse. But first of all, as always, roll on that intro. So the Aorus M5, it's a 60 to 70 pound gaming mouse from the guys at Gigabyte. Now Gigabyte are primarily, well you probably know them as component manufacturers, but they have been dabbling around in peripherals and things for a little while now, and they're getting quite good at it. This one is their relatively new M5 gaming mouse. It's, well, it's quite nice. So let's get into a review. So. There's nothing to show you in the box because you basically get a mouse. It is a mouse at the end of the day. You can't expect too much in the box. But you do get your mouse. You've got a good length sort of six foot cable. The cable is actually a little bit weird. I don't actually know what it's made out of and it doesn't really say anywhere. But it's obviously, it's not a braided hose. You can see that. It's like a rubber hose, but it's a different kind of rubber. Um, it's, I don't know, it's it's very slippery, but it's quite stiff. It's it's a bit like, I don't know, it's a bit of a different, difficult one to describe. I actually really like it. It doesn't seem to twist or knot up. It stays straight. Once you've straightened all the kinks out in it, it stays straight. It doesn't grab on your mouse mat or anything. Um, we're spending quite a lot of time on a cable here, but cab cables can be quite important on a mouse. So, yeah, um, got a really nice cable on it. You've got oodles of RGB, you've got a couple of side buttons, you've got some on the fly DPI adjustment on the top here, and your DPI indicator. Overall, it's quite a nice mouse. Slightly different sort of design to many, it's quite sloped over, it's obviously a right handed design mouse only. Uh, lefties, I, I'm not a lefty, but it is very much sloped for a right handed person. It fits in the hand grip, in the palm and even the claw grip, but most primarily a palm grip mouse, incredibly well. With that slight slope over, it's really nice. Uh, backwards and forwards buttons, as I mentioned, on the fly in DPI, and if you can make it out in the video, the white lights on here, they're not RGB, just white. These are your DPI indicator, and actually they're just located in the right, right place there, um, not in the way of any of the RGB, but they're also not underneath the finger or anything like that. Overall, it works really, really well. There's actually, so we'll have a quick look at the RGB. I'm not gonna do much on the RGB because we are gonna produce a completely separate video on purely the RGB software that goes with this because it's gotten incredibly complicated with RGB software now. And I think I'm better off doing a dedicated video than making this video twice as long. But I can tell you now, it does have 23 RGB zones. These strips, all of the LEDs in the strips are a separate zone, so you can program them however you fancy. Same on this side. You've got the logo and you've got the scroll wheel. And if we flip this over, we do have our switch. Uh, this is the latest switch from, I've forgotten who it is now. Hopefully it says in the box. There we go. It was a Pixar. It's got a, it's got an optical Pixar sensor, and it is their latest and greatest at the thirty three eighty nine sensor. Close that down again. So it's got a it's got a really good optical sensor. I've had I've done a bit of gaming with it, mostly sort of your fast action paced CS:GO, Fortnite, Apex, things like that. No complaints about the uh, sensor in it at all. Buttons are your typical high-end gaming mouse. They are Omron switches rated at 50 million clicks, so they should technically never really break on you. Teflon feet on the bottom, and if I pop the bottom off, also included in the box is five two and a half gram weights. And if I just pull all these out. Now, me personally, I prefer a heavy mouse, but they, it ships as a relatively light mouse with the option of adding an extra 12 and a half grams to it. Now, 12 and a half grams doesn't seem a lot. And if I hold that in my hand, barely feel it. However, if I add these into the bottom of the mouse and they do simply, uh, he says, get them the right way around. It is that way around. These simply 
push into the bottom. You don't have to, you can fit any combination of the five in there. You don't have to load it up or anything. And you can have a bit more weight on the left, a bit more weight on the right, a bit more on the front, a bit more on the back. All entirely up to you. But you add just these few weights, which on their own feel like nothing. It makes a big difference to the, it even makes a difference to the feel of the, the personally, I find it makes a big difference to the quality feel of the mouse. I find that when you've got all of these extra weights in the bottom, it makes the mouse just feel a lot sturdier. I, like I say, I personally, I like a heavy mouse. But overall, it's really well made. There's no weird creaks, groans, or anything like that. It's got a nice cable. It does slide really well. Obviously, this isn't. This is a optical mob map, so it's very similar to a mouse map. But it's there's no grabbing. There's no grippy. There's no sort of scratchiness or anything to, from the bottom of the feet. The sensor has been perfect. As I said, no questions about the quality of that. It's a bought-in product from picks up so yeah well known same with the Omron switches gigabyte with most of the things that I've seen from them when it comes to peripherals what they've done is if it's not their speciality they've done the clever thing and if you're clever if you if it's not your speciality go to somebody whose it is uh, Flare Tech made the switches for their K9 keyboard they've used an Omron switch for the buttons and they've used a Pixar sensor from the for the, for the bottom because they know that Omron make the best switches for mice and Pixar are some of the best sensors you can get for a mouse so buy them in and use them why go through all the effort of reinventing the wheel what gigabyte of base what gigabyte i personally think they have done with their product line for the peripherals at least is they've gone well we can pretty much do everything else so why don't we make some peripherals that go along would i recommend this if you didn't have a load of aura stuff on your side I mean, it is a really nice mouse, but I mean, it's a bit sort of aurous in your face. Um, not having anything else from them would look a little bit different. Um, but if you've got a load of gigabyte stuff in your system, adding a nice gigabyte mouse will go down really, really well. I mean, on its own, yeah, it is a very solid mouse, but it's very brand orientated. And I think what gigabyte, like I said, have done is they've just gone, well, we're not specialists in mice. But we do know that Pixar make the best sensors. We do know that Omron make the best switches. We'll go to them and we'll get those and that's our starting point. And they've basically taken some of the best parts available and worked with them and produced a really nice mouse. It's a little bit on the price side, between 60 and 70 pound here in the UK. But then you can spend a lot more. Okay, you can spend a lot less, but you will get a lot less quality. It is very well made. It's got a very nice feel. I like the rubber grips on the side. I like the little indicator for the DPI because a lot of mice I've played with recently, they've ditched this DPI indication and I miss it because I will sort of, I know straight away roughly what I'm at just by looking at the side of the mouse. So there we go guys, that is the M5 from Gigabyte. It's a really nice mouse. I'm gonna put some links to where you can buy one down in the description below. And as always, if you liked this video, a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down, no problems. Any questions, comments, ideas, or recommendations, leave it in the comment section. I always do my best to answer them. And if you want to see more of me, click that subscribe button, click the little notification bell, and I will be back the same time next week. So on that note, bye for now.